So Pete, today we're here at CIS and it's a nice little titanium demo here. Talk us through it. Yeah, it's a titanium grade five, which uh, we picked out because of the properties of the material uh, to make it a little bit more difficult for the tools because a lot of people will do a general material uh, and we wanted to show, showcase some of our advanced and supreme tooling. Mm -hmm. So the first tool is a high feed cutter? It, yes, it is. It's the uh, M5008. It's one of our new high feed cutters. And we, we put it on a slightly longer ex extension to, to prove how stable it is. Uh, now, the, that's because the cutting forces go up through the tool rather than radially, which would cause vibration. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about cutting data of your tools, you've got a little bit of help, haven't you? Yes, we, uh, we utilise the GPS system, the water GPS system, because we're able to give the optimum tool performance uh, and tool life from the software package. Mm -hmm. So the second tool that comes in? The second tool is, uh, is the MD128, which is a, uh, a multi-flute cutter. Uh, and we've gone for the extended length because we wanted to go to the full depth of the, of the W uh, and we wanted to be able to dynamic mill around the outside clearing the material away mm -hmm. uh, ready for when the other tools come in and, and remove some of the rest material that's there. So in terms of the radial engagement, the AE, the step over, what, what are we looking at? Well, the cutter's a 12 mil, a 12 mil tool and um, Dave programmed in a 10% lap over which I think is about 1.2 mil. So in the tool, it doesn't struggle at all. It machines it fairly easily. Yes, yeah. It's 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 all about the small AE, but you can put a, a higher feed rate on, uh, which then produces the component quicker. And we're going full depth, so we we're not going full diameter, uh, full full connection. So it, it's it's a lot more friendly on the tool and the machine. And some of the challenges of that method is when you're going into a corner and clearly on a W, you're going to have lots of little rads. So how do we get those out? Well, what we've done is we've gone to an MC321, which uh, allows a six mil, which allows us to come in and reduce the, the, the radius down. And then we, we bring in a, a tool after that to bring that, mach, that radius down as well, which is uh, an MC320, which is a very helix cutter. I think the helix is about 35, 35 degrees on one flute and 38 on the next, uh, which gives us a better surface finish. Yeah, the, I must admit the surface finish is very good and, and the cutting is very, very quiet, no harmonics in the spindle at all really. But yeah, it, it's, it's the nature of the, the t how the tool's made and the micro edge geometries that, that Walter have developed and put onto the tools to make the tools last and perform better. And now we've finished milling the part, we're going to drill a hole and then ultimately thread mill it. Yeah. The, we, we're utilising the DC160. It's a, a, one of our through coolant drills with a double margin. We've also put, uh, we've got a better point geometry on for set, to, to make it self-centre better in awkward materials. It's, it's not a brand new product. We bought it out in 2020, but there's still plenty of scope for it in the market. And finally, the thread mill. And the thread mill, it, it's, it's quite a specialised thread mill. It's not for everybody. It's a, a TC620. And within the geometry of the thread mill, we've removed some of the pitches, which allows us to do deeper threaded holes without so much radial push off. So and we, don't, and it, we don't have to quantify it by going around a second time. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a one pass hit. We've, the space in between the pitches is about 2.1 mil, so that's three passes up mm -hmm. on an M4 thread mill. Yeah, that's clever. So when you look at the, uh, the Walter portfolio there in terms of milling at the moment, you know, it's, it's vast, isn't it? Obviously with some of, your, some of the brands that you've bought in the past, so you, it's a large portfolio. Yes, uh, the, we have a, a lot of line items in, in our main catalogue. Everybody has their favourites. But what, what, what we do with the GPS system is, is not only is it recommending you tools, if you've got a, a vend or, a, or a, a toolbox with a specific tool in and that's what your company buys, you can, go you can go in and select the tool that you've got. As long as it's a water item, GPS will find it and tell you 
how well it will run on that material. In this demo, it's gone quite well here at CIS. It's gone very well. Uh, thanks to, obviously, Ross and Dave for their time. They put in a lot of time uh, helping us with the programming, letting us use the centre. Uh, I'd like to thank them for that. So for people looking to find out more about your products, how do they do so? Right, they, they can, well, I'm the local field sales engineer for the area, or they can contact Walter Head Office, or they can contact CIS as well, because we work together uh, jointly as uh, they are one of our Platinum Channel partners, and we work together on lots of different projects.